Welcome to Finding Earth. Nature shaped human beings basically in two main forms, male and female. This difference caused man to attract woman and vice versa. There is always a common argument between male and female on many issues. There are in fact few differences between these two and today I will talk about difference in male and female brain. The male brain is typically about 10% larger than the female brain. Many men are sharply left brain dominant, while women tend to be more evenly balanced between left and right brain processing. Women are therefore thought to be slightly more intuitive and sometimes better communicators. Women are purported to have better communication skills and emotional intelligence than men, thus better in maintaining relationship. The male brain is geared slightly more toward math. Males tend to have much larger inferior parietal lobules than females. This area of the brain is thought to influence mathematical ability. The brain areas that are thought to control math and geometry skills mature in boys about four years earlier than in girls. When faced with stressful situations, men usually employ fight or flight tactics. While women use a tend or befriend response that is rooted in their natural instincts for caring for their children and establishing strong group bonds. Female brain is geared slightly more toward language. The frontal and temporal areas of the cortex are larger in females than in males. These brain areas are thought to influence language skills. They mature in girls about six years earlier than in boys. Since women tend to have a larger deep limbic system than men, they're more in touch with their feelings and are better at expressing their emotions. This makes women better at connecting with others, but unfortunately also more prone to different types of depression. Men tend to have better spatial abilities. Men have a thinner parietal region of the brain than women, which makes it easier for them to visualize rotating 3D objects. Men are more likely to be dyslexic or have other language disabilities, since they are more often left brain dominant. Males are also more prone to autism, ADHD and Tourette syndrome, while women are more susceptible to mood disorders like anxiety and depression. Women are also far more likely to suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder after a traumatizing event. Upon experiencing pain, men's right amygdala is activated, while it's the left amygdala in women. Since the left amygdala is more closely associated with internal functions, it is thought that this is why women experience pain more accurately than men do. Women are more likely to suffer from mood disorders. Male brains synthesize serotonin far more quickly than female brains which may explain why women are far more prone to depression. Male and female fetuses start showing brain differences at around 26 weeks. At around the 26-week stage, girl fetuses generally start developing a thicker corpus callosum, the part of the brain that connects the left and right hemispheres, than boy fetuses. This may help explain the fact that women tend to use both hemispheres of the brain while men lean toward the left hemisphere. When it comes to intelligence, there are more male than female outliers. Male IQ has greater variance than female IQ. In other words, while females cluster toward the middle, more males occupy the extreme high and low ends on the intelligence scale. Women handle stress better than men. Both males and females release the hormone oxytocin during stressful events, but female estrogen combines with oxytocin to produce a calming effect, whereas male testosterone only makes men more aggressive. Men have weaker impulse control. The brain areas that control aggression and anger are larger in women than in men which may account for some degree in larger male rates of violence. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.